Hello everyone, this is Ron. Welcome to another King of Fighters All-Star video. And finally, this is the one of the most anticipated video of this year. That is going to be the tire list of King of Fighters All-Star character based on their support abilities. And I think in a sense, this tire list is even more important than the tire list that we talk about, about the damage dealer tire list. Because damage dealer tire list will keep changing and supports are here forever and as you know that there are different type of supports in this game and there are different type of abilities and in this video i am just going to consider only premium category supports it doesn't have to be ex or ultimate but the pri uh, the support type has to be premium and in some other next video i am going to consider or talk about some other type of uh, supports for example a little bit uh, lower category supports also now in recent times we have seen quite a good amount of new supports adding into the game. They are getting into the game in forms of ultimate fighters or buffed ultimate fighters or buffed EX fighters. There's a lot of lot of changes going on. That's why guys I kind of took a little bit of time. So I kind of uh, wanted to provide you something that has a concrete base. Now a couple of things to consider before we proceed into this tile list. First of all. Now I understand a lot about these characters that none of these statements about these characters cannot be 100% correct. That means under certain uh, circumstances, under certain situations, these results may vary. A superbly qualified player might produce even more better result with any one of those characters and that has nothing to do with this ranking. So these sort of things we should take into consideration before talking about tile lists. Now, I have uh, in a list a bunch of these support fighters and I'm going to use a template. That means it is kind of hard to figure out the actual um, support uh, abilities because in these days, most people do what? They kind of combine the supports. So in a team, there can be more than one support. So that makes the com uh, equation a little bit more complex and the answer a little bit hard because now we need to think about the combination of support rather than individual support. That makes the situation even more complicated, but I will try my best to make things as easy as possible and that's why I'm using this template. Here Terry is the main damage dealer. I will keep everything about Terry constant. Muka is the support. The second support is going to be Kazmi. And the uh, striker of the support is going to be Leona, winter version Leona. This is also will remain constant. And so we will be changing this slot. In this slot, in case of Sizuru, you can see, we will use different type of supports. And of course, we are going to keep this uh, uh, support striker Blue Mary also constant. So everything will constant. For example, the battle cards of the support, we will always use this sort of PG gain cards or no cards at all. So these things are not going to impact our results and also we will use no uh, imprint stones or no plugins with our supports so that is also not going to impact the result so let me quickly show my terry and kazmi setup for kazmi i am using this this set card which is going to contribute uh, to the damage of course i'm using some uh, imprint stones that is also going to contribute to the damage of course but guess what everything is going to be unchanged and um, for Terry I'm using this banner set card and also this uh, special uh, uh, set card from the epic quest and also these uh, attack speed increasing option card I'm using this banner imprint stones and is in his plugins I am kind uh, kind of prioritized attack and also I prioritize strike skill these sort of things I made uh, the combination once again guys a final result is 
hard to guess but we can estimate we can make some estimations so the first gameplay that i'm going to show you is going to be with terry and the first support that is going to be ex sizuru and ex sizuru is a character who is going to operate through her strike skill abilities and uh, that means if we check how check her profile let me quickly show you that in her skills one skill actually increase strike skill damage of all team members including cell by 40 percent for 15 seconds all right so that's a good ability from the skills and from her core she's going to give us this increase attack of all team mem uh, teammates hundred percent increase attack uh, okay so these are these are the two things she is going to provide now it's time to see what uh, this run is going to bring to us so let me play the video and we are going to play against of course in uh, lunatic uh, i'm sorry in inferno mood so please uh, I, I i was just using this hard stage for team combination uh, so ignore this hard so all the gameplays are recorded in inferno mood so let's see take kazmi ex sizuru let's go so first of all we are doing this usual 3pg and we are going to check out first rotation only. Alright, let's do the CPG. Striker in. Doing her skills. Kazmi in. Terry in. All right, let's go. Damn good. 28 trillion first rotation. And I was thinking that probably the damage uh, amount amount will might increase a little bit more if we uh, change the rotation and probably maybe use uh, Kazmi earlier and later we use Sizuru. But maybe it might make no, uh, might not make a big difference at all. So that's the output that we can get if we are using Sizuru as a support. Huge amount of damage, 28 trillion in one rotation. That's very, very good, guys. Now, on the second position, we are going to use another support that is going to be EX Leona. A support that probably nobody uses. But guess what? She is a great support. And not only that, she is a great f2p support and let's uh, check out her abilities and if if i take you to her skill info she has couple of support skill i guess active one skill increase enemies damage received by 50 percent for 12 seconds look at this 12 seconds that's a comfortable time guys you can do a lot of damage within these 12 seconds Active 2 skill, deals bleed damage equal to 2% of attack to the target. Uh, decrease enemy's defense. This is the thing. Decrease enemy's defense by 60% for 12 seconds. Uh, landing on a burning enemy. So, of course, she has burned. So, she will get the effect in anyways if you do a couple of skill. So, both of her skill, 12 second guys. 12 second. Look at this. Increase enemy's damage received by 55% for 12 seconds. Three of her skills, one, two, three, all of her skills are dedicated to support. What should I say, guys? She's a premium level support. A premium level support. Now, let's see what she can do if we just place her in our universal template. How far she can give a support to our lone wolf, Terry. So, let me start the gameplay. Of course, everything is same as always. First rotation. However, one thing I must also say that 
all of these characters especially the damage dealers are actually having cumulative damage effects so if if we if we proceed to second rotation the damage numbers actually goes more than double in many cases okay beautiful 3pg from leona doing her skills kazmi in meter is going to get broken terry in let's go oh my god that's a huge amount of damage 29 trillion 29 trillion is the damage number that we were able to pull with this team combination excellent support leona but probably these numbers can might uh, go a little bit higher too it is also possible now look at this what we have here no surprise but the sheer power of street fighter 6 guile Besides being a very powerful damage dealer and a strong survival character, he has excellent, excellent support skill. I mean, he has so many skills of support that we cannot even use all of them. Let's check out a uh, couple of them. I mean, he has a lot. In his active three skills, Sonic Blade. This is going to do what? This is going to remove target's guard, decrease target's movement speed 40%. Decrease the enemy's defense by 80%, increase their damage received by 100%. And for 15 seconds, freaking damn good long time, this guy makes the gameplay like, like so easy and relaxing. And also his, he has bleeding, that is also another important uh, support. But his most strongest feature is probably in his core. What he is going to do? He's going to increase attack of all allies, excluding self, by 300% for 15 seconds when tagging out. 300% solid attack. Simply by just tagging out. That means you, do, you don't even have to level up this character. So once again, another F2P support that is offering all his abilities, even at non-awakened level. Kyle's default finisher, this... Uh, Sonic Hurricane, this is going to increase all team members attack by 100% for 15 seconds. That's another cool feature guys. So whenever I say guys that F2P support, think that I am meaning this thing that you can unlock the all the abilities of the support without even awakening. And we are having a lot of lot of these F2P support these days guys. So let me pull the gameplay now. And show. Let's show you that what is Kyle doing. Ready? We're having a, a team of Kazmi, Guile, and of course Terry. Usual 3PG once again. Let's go. Okay. Guile is here doing the skills. So besides watching the score, if you are someone new to these characters, you can also see that how uh, I'm doing this rotation. So basically, we, you can play in the same way. Doing the default, this is his default. However, we can use a lot other other ones. I'm just using the default this time because it saves time. Terry is here, guys. Let's go. Thirty nine trillion guys. That's a huge, huge damage. Thirty nine trillion on the first rotation. That's a huge damage, guys. I'm totally happy to see that we were able to pull thirty nine trillion with Kyle. Totally an amazing collaboration fighter, guys. Our next support in today's test is going to be none other than Ultimate Oswald. Oswald is a great character. A mysterious mix of different elements i mean i don't even know what to see he has a lot of lot of things in his kit his main thing is going to be a lot of combination of this thing that is basically going to increase targets damage received by eight percent decrease targets critical hit resist de de decrease the targets hp recovery this target hit critical hit resist is going to allow your characters to uh, inflict more damage with with critical damage and critical rate 
that means your damage dealers critical damage and critical rate will will be able to achieve more result due to this mechanism and of course defense decrease that you can easily understand but he has some cores he has some interesting core and this is going to decrease target defense by 80% for 20 seconds uh, upon landing a basic attack that's the important thing to know so his main core is going to be activated with his basic attack however his skills are also very important decrease target uh, damage receive 800 percent 20 second active one skill these combinations and decrease the uh, targets critical hit resist rate active two skill decrease target speed recovery so all of these things are going to be doubled if you if you use this character use his skill use his basic attack because as I showed before that insane mechanism this guy is having so now let me show you the gameplay with the same team let me pull the gameplay right now and let's see that how this premium category support is going to do because he is a f2p support of course but his true uh, potentiality actually kind of unlocks when uh, the character is kind of maxed up Oswald let's see how he goes doing the CPG and by the way playing with Oswald is kind of com uh, complicated and rewarding at the same time because he is capable to do this sort of support in both uh, normal guild also guild boss and also in uh, AJ challenge it's a very important character in the game guys it's a universal support I would call him so doing his skills also doing the basic attack very important pushing the phantom awakening Kasby in meter is almost broken Terry in let's go let's do it oh my god oh my goodness oh my goodness look at this 44 trillion oh my god 44 trillion damage we were able to pull with Herr Oswald. I'm totally happy that this character is proving his worth. And drum roll, our final team is today, and our final support is going to be beautiful Maki. Oh my god, she's kind of disrupted the entire Kofa scenario by her recent arrival, and she has some unique features guys she has some unique features let me quickly show you that if we go to her core she has this very powerful ethereal energy you can gain ethereal energy and you can convert this ethereal energy into damage abilities and she is going to get this energy explosion if you do her default finisher that means her core finisher and what is the effect of this energy inflation explosion 350% attack increase 200% active skill damage increase amazing guys and this explosion effect uh, that means this attack buffs applies to all the team members guys and not only that I think she has something in the skills uh, Active 2 skill increase the targets damage received by 50% can be stacked up to 100% for 15 seconds Amazing guys amazing so Let's see what Maki Kagura can do with her energy explosion effect team Terry Kazumi Maki. Let's go. Let's go Okay. I'm really curious to see that how far we can go. All right, bringing Maki in, quickly doing her skills and doing her 3PG of course, and of course pressing the basic attack as soon as possible, because all of them are going to contribute to that ethereal energy. Finally, doing her default finisher. That's very important. Now, finally, Kazmi in. Terry. Let's go. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. 
Look at this, guys! Oh my goodness! 51 trillion! 51 trillion with the first rotation! Oh my goodness, guys! What should I even say? I mean, think about it. One rotation of this character, 51 trillion damage. I think it is need needless to say that this is going to be probably the best support combination team and once again as i said that there's a lot of things that comes into play whenever we are considering this support combination so looks like this is the best combination for terry and specifically for terry and i believe for any characters also let me try uh, let me know when you try with some other damage dealers let me let me know in the comments that if you try with this different combination and what appears because uh, different type of characters might respond differently to this uh, support combination. So I hope this video was helpful and enjoyable to you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to support the content, support the channel. And I hope to see you guys soon in some other videos. Till then stay awesome and peace out my friends.